What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World Evolution 2. And yes, before we start the video, let's uh, address the elephant in the room. Yes, I did get a haircut. If you want to see it here, it looks really good, right? Hopes, I hope it does. But anyway, we're going to be doing another ranking video here. This time with the aquatics. I was going to do a top 10 favorite aquatics, but since there are only 14 aquatics, not nearly as many as there are land dinos, I figured I would just do a ranking of every single aquatic in the game, because it's a lot easier, and I will do the same thing with the pterosaurs in a future video. We will be ranking them from worst to best. I mean, honestly, nobody really uses the aquatics because... They're, I don't know. They don't really do much, for one. And for two, I mean, there has been a lot added. Like the kelp and whatever. I mean, there's nothing in here, but they did add a lot to the aquatics. I think out of all the, the groups, the three groups, I think the pterosaurs got the least amount of love. But yeah, that's, that's just me, though. But aquatics didn't really get much love either. Not nearly as much as the... Uh, the dinosaurs did. So, if you find yourself enjoying this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. Also, if you want me to do something with the aquatics, maybe like a spin-off series centered around the aquatics, then let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, without further ado, let's start with the rankings. And taking the number 14 spot. This is the worst aquatic in the game. It has to be the Liopleurodon, which is a shame, because the Liopleurodon has always been one of my favorite aquatics out there, but it's just, games treat this guy very poorly, like Jurassic World Evolution 2 treated this guy poorly, and so did Ark, but while Ark's design kind of looked interesting, this guy looks hideous, I'm sorry. It, he just looks more like a crocodile than a Liopleurodon. I'm sorry. Like, I guess they were trying to go for what the Liopleurodon could have looked like if it was in a movie. But I'm sorry. If they gave up this design in the movie, I would never forgive them. It's, it's such a shame. Because the Liopleurodon, like I said, has always been one of my favorite aquatics in the game. And it's a shame. Well, not in the game. I mean in, like, of all time. But in, like, video games and whatever, this guy was done dirty. Especially in Ark, where when you tame it, it only lasts for a half an hour, and then it's gone forever. You know, that's... I don't know. I feel like the Lyle Pluridon needs a TLC. Hopefully for Jurassic World Evolution 3, it will get just that as well as some of the other aquatics that have made it a little bit higher on this list. At number 13, we've got the Elasmosaurus. Another ugly looking aquatic. It's one of the ugliest looking ones, like the first being Lyle Pluridon, but this comes in a close second. The Elasmosaurus looks less like a, a plesiosaur and more like a sea dragon. Look at this guy. What's with the spikes on the head? Really? And the over-exaggerated teeth. I don't know if they had teeth like that in real life, but... I'm sorry. If you're trying to pass this off as a plesiosaur in a Jurassic film, then I'm not buying it. I'm more likely to buy it when it comes to, like, being the Loch Ness Monster or something. The only thing that could top this version of the Elasmosaur is the one in Ark. Because technically in Ark, they are Elasmosaurs. But these guys are just, I don't know, very hideous looking, especially the eyes. Those alien-like eyes, they look very creepy. Taking the number 11, or sorry, 12 spot, we've got the Tylosaurus, or as I like to call it, the Lesser Mosasaur. Now, this guy doesn't look nearly as ugly as the other two, but it still ranks low on the list because it's, I don't know, poorly optimized or something, I don't know. The teeth, I mean, I think the jaw kind of looks too narrow, 
it could be a little broader. Maybe they were this narrow in real life, but I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like Tylosaurus could stand up to Mosasaurus if it wanted to, but... I get they wanted the Mosasaurus to be the biggest in the game, you know, because of movie value, but I don't know. I feel like Tylosaurus should be able to at least give the Mosasaurus a run for its money. I mean, at least the Megalodon does, but this guy, not so much. Taking the number 11 spot, we have another Elasmosaur or Plesiosaur called the Plesiosaurus. Now this guy is one of the smaller ones, and honestly, I can kind of... The reason it's higher on the list than Elasmosaurus is because it is kind of cute. It is kind of cool looking, with that snake head and whatever, you know? And I guess what they were going for with these aquatics is like what they could have looked like in like a movie or whatever. And I also heard Plesiosaurus, along with Ichthyosaurus, are going to make it into the next Jurassic World movie, but that's just a rumor. Take that with a pinch of salt. But the reason it's not higher on the list is because, I don't know, the Plesiosaurus, as cute as it looks, there are aquatics that are way cuter than this. Taking the number 10 spot is another Plesiosaur, and probably one of the better looking ones, the Adenborosaurus. Now, in my opinion, this one kind of looks like a real plesiosaur, rather than an interpretation of the Loch Ness Monster, or a snake with flippers. Like, if you look at this guy, he's definitely one of the better looking plesiosaurs, in my opinion. He looks like, like I said, a real plesiosaur, and it's just really cool looking. And I love how they made this guy named after, like, David Attenborough. Even though they don't mention Richard Attenborough. So you're telling me that David Attenborough exists in the Jurassic Universe, but not Richard? I don't know. But either way, this guy looks really cool. The only reason he's not higher on the list is because... I don't know. I don't find Attenborough-saurus that appealing overall. That's just me, though. Taking the number 9 spot is pretty much the ichthyosaur on steroids. We've got... The Shonisaurus. Now, again, just like with the Tylosaurus, I feel like the Shonisaurus should have been a little bit bigger. To the point where he could have given the Mosasaurus a run for his money. Because we got Shonisaurus and we got Shastasaurus. Two very large ichthyosaurs. I mean, the Shonisaurus doesn't really do much, apart from swim around. I mean, when it swims, it kind of looks like a whale. You know, because of giant ichthyosaurs, but overall, I mean, it is a very cool design. I really like it. It's one of the more accurate looking aquatics, in my opinion. But at the same time, there are way cooler aquatics, in my opinion. Taking the number eight spot, and the final one in the bottom seven, the Styxosaurus. This is, in my opinion, the best looking plesiosaur in the game. It looks not the most accurate, but it's still pretty cool. I love how they added little fins or flipper or whatever you want to whatever you want to call this thing, a sail on the neck, the both the top and bottom of the neck. And and kind of a fin at the end of its tail. Styxosaurus is very slender and it looks really cool for a plesiosaur in my honest opinion. I love how it looks more like a a hydra in a way. Kind of like what a plesiosaur should be like. Attenborosaurus looks more accurate, yes, but this guy looks way more appealing, in my opinion. If I had to choose between Styxosaurus or Attenborosaurus, I would choose Styxosaurus every time. That's just me, though. You might have a different opinion, but that's just me. All right, and that's the bottom seven done. Let's move on to the top seven. Taking the number seven spot, we've got the Nothosaurus. I like the Nothosaurus because of how unique it looks. I mean, they could have made this guy a terrestrial creature and that's it. Like, kind of like what the Demetrodon was. But no, since it's in the water, they made it a fully aquatic creature. And it's one of the two creatures that can 
go on land. They put these rock platforms there so they can go on land. I like the Nothosaurus. This is a really cool design. And I like when, when Jurassic World Evolution or Frontier, I like when they experiment with new things. I love the teeth. They look so sharp and needle-like. Honestly, really cool. And I love the scaliness of this guy. The effort they put into these creatures is just beyond incredible. Taking the number six spot, we've got the Ichthyosaurus, mainly because it just looks so adorable. They're basically the homalocephalae of the aquatic part. And the eyes kind of look a bit creepy, but apart from that, pretty adorable. If the eyes looked a little more cute, kind of like what Ark had, this could possibly rival homalocephalae when it comes to cuteness. I love them in Ark. I love them in this game. The only reason they're not higher on the list is because they're kind of useless for one, and for two, the eyes are, make them kind of creepy. And look at that smile as well. You know he's seen some stuff. All right, now we're in the top five. The number five spot, we've got Kronosaurus. In my honest opinion, the better looking Lyopleurodon. This is what the Lyopleurodon should have looked like, in my opinion. This guy just looks really cool. One of the more accurate designs, and yeah, it's just really cool looking. If I had to pick between this guy and Lyopleurodon, I would pick Kronosaurus any day of the week. And again, this is another one of those creatures that should rival the Mosasaurus when it comes to power. But I digress. Speaking of Mosasaurus, taking the number four spot is Mosasaurus. Now, because of its design, I kind of wanted to rank it a little bit lower, but because of its movie counterpart, because of the movie, I had to rank it a little bit higher. Just because it's such an iconic creature. The Mosasaurus reigns supreme when it comes to all of the aquatics. Sure, the Megalodon can give it a run for its money, but... This guy is just really cool. The reason he's not higher on the list, or he's not number one on the list, is because there are creatures that I find more appealing. But the Mosasaurus, just a really cool design in my opinion. They got the movie really correct. It looks accurate to the movie, and it's just a really cool design. I know I say really cool a lot, but I really do mean it. Taking the number three spot, we've got... The one, the only, the Megalodon. The only creature in the game that can give the Mosasaurus a run for its money. I think the reason it took so long for this guy to make it into the game is because Frontier wanted to do this guy justice. But Universal's like, oh, make Mosasaurus the top predator. But you know what? I'm glad they made the Megalodon be able to rival the Mosasaurus because they needed to do the Megalodon justice and they did just that. The eyes kind of look a bit creepy, but apart from that, this guy just looks really cool. It's just a giant shark and I honestly love it, you know. Megalodon is one of the most iconic aquatic creatures out there and everybody talks about Megalodon or not everybody, but a lot of people do. And I can see why. It's just a really cool specimen. A lot of people like sharks. I mean, I don't, I'm not a big shark fan, but I do like sharks from time to time. They just look really cool. As long as I'm not in the water with them. <laughs> Taking the number two spot, we have the most, one of the most unique creatures in the game, the Archelon. Simply because it stands out from the rest of the aquatics. Just a giant sea turtle kind of feels out of place, you know? But at least we've got other creatures that look unique, like the Megalodon and whatever. But this guy just looks really cool, in my opinion. Mainly because, well, it's a giant sea turtle. It kind of looks accurate. I don't know how accurate the Archelon really looks. You know what I wish, though? What I wish Frontier did, this probably would have costed them a lot more time, but I kind of wish the Archelon could hide in its shell. It would make sense because it's a turtle. I mean, I don't know if sea turtles can really do that. I know terrestrial turtles can, but I'm not sure if sea turtles can. 
you guys would have to let me know in the comments down below, but yeah, this guy is really cool in my opinion. I love the beak, I love the head, the fins, the shell, the tail, I love it all. It's just a really cool creature, and they also have really cool colors in this game. So yeah, Archelon takes the number two spot. And the number one best creature aquatic in the game is, without a doubt, the Dunkelosteus. I'm honestly glad we got this guy. It was an odd choice, but I'm honestly glad we got it, because it looks really cool. I think probably the most accurate aquatic in the game. It's like the aquatic equivalent to the Euterrenus and Utah Raptor. It's just a really cool design. I really love it. And it's just... Yeah, everything about it just screams awesome. I feel like this guy could give the Mosasaurus a run for its money. Maybe not win in a fight, but definitely give it a run for its money, especially with the bony plates. No, these are not teeth. These are bony plates. So, yeah. The Dunkelosteus is honestly my favorite aquatic in the game. If I want to make aquatics, Dunkelosteus is going to be at least one of them. So, yeah. That's my ranking for every single aquatic in Jurassic World Evolution 2. If you have a ranking that's different from mine or the same as mine, let me know in the comments down below. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.